All right, today's going to be a quick one. I want to show you the fastest way to back up UHS-2 SD cards to an external SSD using an iPhone that has a USB-C port and supports 10 gigabits per second transfer speeds like the iPhone 16 Pro Max I have in here, iPhone 16 Pro, 15 Pro, and also 15 Pro Max. So this is all the gear that I'm going to use to achieve the fastest transfer speeds from a UHS-2 SD card to an external SSD. First of all, I have here a USB-C hub from Ugreen. It has one PD charging port, two USB-A 10 gigabits per second ports, and then two USB-C 10 gigabits per second ports, and also an HDMI port. Now, the reason I chose this hub is because it supports fast transfer speeds on the USB-C ports and also on the USB-A ports. And the reason why I didn't choose one with um, SD card reader built in is because usually these hubs only support up to UHS-1 speeds, which is significantly slower than UHS-2. And I want to achieve the fastest transfer speeds from my SD card to the SSD. And this is why the next item is a UHS-2 card reader from Lexar. It doesn't really matter which one you use, as long as it's supporting UHS-2 transfer speeds, that's what's important. This one has a normal SD card reader and also a micro SD card reader. Now next, I have this BCS 65 watt charger. And the reason for that is because you will need to power the iPhone and also the card reader and the SSD somehow. You can use a power bank that has, I would say at least 30 watts of output, but this is the travel charger that I'm using all the time because it has two USB-C ports, one USB-A port. So I'm just going to use it to transfer the files and power on everything in here. Also, of course, you will need a charging cable. I'm using this one from Ugreen, not sponsored by the way. I bought everything with my own money. This one goes up to 240 watts. It's my laptop charging cable, but it also will work just fine for the iPhone the card reader and the SSD. Now finally, for the storage, I'm using the Samsung T7 Shield 2TB SSD. And the UHS-2 card that I'm using is the one from Prograde. This one is super fast, goes up to 250 megabytes a second read, which is the one that you should care about if you want to quickly transfer files from it to something else. All right, now let's plug everything in. First, I'm gonna take the BCS charger, put it to the outlet, and I'm gonna take the cable here, plug it to the charger. Then I'm gonna plug the end of this cable to the PD charging port on the hub. Then I'm going to put the SD card in the card reader, plug it to the first USB-C port. And finally, I'm going to plug my SSD and the other end of the hub to my iPhone. It starts charging and now it also should show the SSD and the card reader. Why the SSD is not showing up? Let me see one second. I'm going to unplug it. And I'm going to plug it again. Okay, T7 Roma, my SSD. And this is the card reader. All right, I'm going to go to my card, to the movies folder. And I have here 100 gigabytes worth of footage. And according to my calculation, at least the one I did online, it should take roughly six and a half to seven minutes to transfer 100 gigs from the SD card to the SSD. The maximum transfer speed of the SD card is 253 megabytes a second. So according to this, it should take about six and a half to seven minutes to do so, which is super quick. So I'm gonna click done here and I'm gonna click select. I'm gonna select only the video files in here. And now I wanna mention something here you have a couple of options to copy the files. And for whatever reason, if you're doing it this way by clicking the share button and then copy, it's not gonna provide fast transfer speeds. Also, if you're gonna click here and copy, it's not going to do it either. Probably the files app needs some fixing updates, I don't know. But if you click here, this folder, and then you're gonna go to the SSD, so T7 Roma, then I'm going to 
create a new folder in here. I'm gonna call it test transfer speeds speed go in now click copy it should provide the fastest transfer speeds from the sd card to the ssd i'm not really sure why it's like that but i've done so many tests with different cables different everything and for whatever reason this one works always the best so if you want to transfer your files quickly always use this method but maybe now it won't work i don't really know but sometimes it like works sometimes it doesn't work i'm not really sure if there is some sort of an issue in here but for the most part this one was working uh, the most reliably so i'm gonna click copy and at the same time start a timer on my other iphone to see how fast it's going to transfer the files so three two one now this window is going to disappear and then you can click here to see the progress and it tells you about 18 minutes 12 13 this is super quick by the way now it's working fine i can see it already because I've done so many tests, I already know if it's gonna go fast or slow. So I'm gonna speed this up for you to see it much quicker and not get bored. And we're gonna see how long it's gonna take exactly to transfer 100 gigs from the SD card to the SSD. All right, so we are getting close here to the finish line. It already copied 94 gigs and it's only been five minutes and 40 seconds. So I think it's even going to be faster than the online calculator predicted. We're almost done here, 98 gigs, then 99 and we are done. So six minutes it took to transfer 100 gigs from an SD card to the SSD. This is super fast and if you had a USB-C hub with a UHS-1 SD card reader built in, it would have taken much longer, probably twice as long or maybe even like two and a half times as long. So if you are using UHS-2 SD cards, it's worth buying all of these accessories in here just to benefit from the fast transfer speeds because otherwise why would you pay so much money for the fast SD card and if you're using your iPhone for traveling like myself to backup footage I think this is the best solution so far and I think this is it for today if you have any tips or any accessory suggestions to make it more streamlined and much quicker let me know down below but so far this is the most versatile solution I've found because you can also use this uh, card reader on its own to transfer files from your camera to the iPhone you can also use this USB-C hub for something else and it's fairly compact the hub so it's not really going to be too big usually the ones with a UHS-2 SD card slot are really big and heavy so this one is very compact and I think it's basically the best solution to back up UHS-2 cards to an SSD.